our wonderful time in Belgrade was over, and now it was time to see what Sarajevo was like. But because the train wasn't operating and hadn't been for a number of years, we had to get a bus. Starting at Belgrade East Station, we made our way across the Funky Bridge and out of the city. And that took a while. And then we turned left and made our way over the mountains overnight into Sarajevo. Nice and easy, right? Wrong. I spent a good few minutes of this video complaining about the bus and I've decided to voice over it instead. But put it this way, the legroom was fucking shocking. I had a little argument with the bus driver before we got on because he decided to charge us three times as much as what was advertised to put our luggage in there. The bus was also late by about an hour and we had no clue where it was and when we went to the check-in desk to ask about it, which wasn't specific for that bus line, just all the bus lines, we were told to call them. Of course we couldn't because we didn't have a SIM card to call them and there was no available number on their website. Condor buses, if anyone's wondering. To be honest, I wouldn't have expected to get through to them anyway because at this point it was about 10pm. We got our tickets through Get By Bus, just so everyone knows, they are not actually affiliated with any bus company, you can just buy tickets through them. They have a customer service, but they can only help you when it comes to errors involving tickets, they can't actually contact the bus company for you. There is another company called Globtour, which operate the exact same route, and with a similar departure time, unfortunately all the tickets for that bus were unavailable. It was also slightly more expensive, but from what I've heard, the coaches are air conditioned and unlike this coach, the toilet actually works. Although I've also read on some reviews that the toilet doesn't work on the other bus. I guess it depends how lucky you are. There also didn't appear to be a headcount taking place when we did eventually stop and the driver got back in the bus, which leads me to believe they've probably left some people behind in the past. The journey ended up taking about three and a half hours longer than what was advertised, and this was due to a few factors. Number one, time at the border, although, in fairness, we were only there for about 30 minutes. Number two, the driver seemed to be picking up multiple people along the way in random ass places. I do believe there's a highway to Sarajevo from Belgrade or at least a faster main road but we went up the slow mountain routes in the night which was absolutely crazy. I'd estimate a whole third of the journey must have been an average speed of 20 miles an hour. But eventually we got to Sarajevo, Sarajevo East bus station. Depending on where you class the centre as, I'd say City Hall, you're about four and a half miles away from it. So we found our way to the local bus stop, hopped on a bus to the centre, and found our accommodation and slept. All in all, I would rate Condor buses a 5 out of 10. A lack of information about the journey and how long it would take, Multiple stops where we had no indication of how long we'd have. We did ask the driver how long we'd have at each stop and he did tell us thankfully. 
but some clarity prior to that would have been nice because he did in fact speak English. We stopped about three times in total over many, many hours, including one place where you had to pay for a toilet. Luckily, us passengers all banded together and held the door open for each other, thus negating the need to put money in the slot every time. Thanks for watching.